In May 2019, Derby County's under-18s beat Arsenal to win the Premier League national title. Nine members of that Young Rams squad have since gone on to play for the first team, and over the past fortnight, two have made their 150th appearances for the club. Jason Knight and Max Bird have been teammates since they were just 16. They made their first senior starts less than six months apart, both have captained the Rams, and they've been on the pitch together in over 100 of their first team outings. Extremely proud. Um, some of the you don't necessarily set out to achieve 150 caps, but you set out to achieve as many appearances as you can for the club. Um, you know, since I was like 15, 16, probably. Um, obviously, I've been here a long, long time. Um, so yeah, to hit 150 is a, a big achievement. Is it a milestone that you're aware of? Are you focusing on it, or? Um, I only. I only think so as as it comes up just before the game you learn that it's your 150th game I think early on you sort of count them as much as you can and then eventually they sort of just fade and you just keep rolling into games and, and I think that's what's happened over the last few years we just we've just kept going both been lucky enough to keep playing a lot of games and, and hopefully they can continue going. Let's rewind a little bit obviously Birdie you've been here a bit longer than the night he has can you remember your first impressions of him when he walked through the door as a 16-year-old? Um, lively, you know, was really energetic and trained, played and trained like it was his last last training session. Um, you know, great character to be around. Uh, you know, I try and keep it PG, um, but nah, top top lad, um, and you know, real good player to play with as well. A nighty for you at 16, maybe it's a little bit daunting, maybe not, but how quickly did you notice Birdie? Yeah, I think a bit like Birdie said, a bit daunting, like you say, first and foremost, but I think as soon as I came in, I knew Birdie was one of the, the top players in the team, and I think it was the 15-16s just when I came over, so Birdie was always a top player, he was a top leader, you can see now still one of the captains in the team, and um, it's been great to go that process with him the whole way up, and and hopefully we've got a few more games together. The defender didn't deal with it, Knight's in behind. Jason Knight for Derby, but the defender got back at him. Still a chance for the Rams, is that? Shot is in! What a hit! Challenged by Bird. now Wilson. Derby might be able to make something happen here. Wilson off the ground for the hat-trick. Yes, there it is! There's been a few of you that, that have come through at the same time. How special was that 2018-19 that under-18 side that won the title? Yeah, I think it was great, and I think at the time it was it was put onto us to not forget those moments because they're not they're not all that um, don't happen all the time in football. You go through tough times like we've seen in the past here with the first team in the club, but now it was great moments, great moments for me and Birdie, great moments for the the academy itself. It really put us put us on the, a bit more of a map as well. Got to play in Europe, so it was great times looking back on it. Do you ever look back and think about how special the players you played? with but also against that night because there were some big names in the Arsenal yeah, team. Yeah, no, definitely like Knight said there, you don't really realise until sort of down the line. So we don't realise till probably like around now how special that group was, um, how many of us have come through, um, you know, how good that changing room was and how special it, it was to win the Premier League. Um, together but like you say the the process and the journey there's been highs and lows there's been fallings out there's been good times together but it's been very good If there's a moment that, that I think of that combines the two of you, it, it's your second goal against Charlton. Um, nice smile. When, when you think about it, how, how well do you remember it? Yeah, remember it really well. It was um, it was a great night. We weren't we weren't well weren't too long in the team that time. So um, I got two goals that game, and then Birdie set me up for a well the winner eventually throughout the game, and that was a great moment, great night, and 
and we've had a few more good moments like that um, over the years, but that was a, a really special moment. How do you remember it? Yeah, a great night. Um, a, a difficult game, you know, what, but one where we were, you know, young lads, and now you probably say the same thing, just fearless in the sense of we went down to 10 men and we just thought, let's just go and have a kick about, let's just go and play football. And for me, as soon as that ball came wide, I just took one look up and just tried to put it, you know, near enough to him. Um, so, yeah, we've had good moments. We talk about it, we joke about it a lot, as in terms of, like, we, oh, you need to assist me today or oh, I need a goal today, stuff like that. But um, we've had a couple more moments like that, but hopefully a couple more to come as well. I don't think Knight has ever set you up. Yeah. That's not what you I, don't, I don't score enough, though, do I? <laughs> Just bangers. Yeah. Might open up for Max Bird on his birthday. <laughs> Met by Bird to hit it. Wonderful from Max Bird. Nicey, what do you admire most about Birdie's game? I think like, he's very, very technical. He's always re reliable on the ball, especially in the position he's playing. It's really important to be that way. And I think over the, over the years, you've seen how consistent he's been. And I think in football, that's the most important thing to be consistent. And I think Birdie, out of everyone in this football club, has, has really shown that. And it's, it's worked well for me. He's the captain of, well, vice captain of the football team, vice captain of the football club. And, and hopefully for a lot more years, he's going to show that consistency. Same question. The, the energy, the desire, the you know, will to win is second to none. The best in the team, for sure. He pulls us through as a team. Uh, he pulls me through. If I'm not having the best of games, we work well together on the pitch. Um, his ability to carry the ball, you know, score goals at important times, assist at important times, but uh, just a really good player to play with in terms of the connection we have in the middle of the pitch. Um, you know, when he was playing wide, it was, and, and I've said it from when we played in that 18s game, the. the you know, if Knight didn't play, or you know, it wasn't the same because of the energy and the, and the, you know, picking up second balls, for example, and stuff like that, um, is goes under the radar a bit. But it's such a massive part of the game. What's he like off the pitch? Joker, a bit of a joker. Um, keeps the lads happy. Um, yeah, it's subtle, like with his jokes. Um, you know, like, has the odd tantrum every now and again. Um, but, no, nah, a great guy to be in the changing room with. Um, and, you know, I think we've both come out of shell a bit in the last couple of years in terms of with the first team lads. Um, we can have a joke and a laugh with the senior boys now as well. So, no, nah, brilliant. What about him? Is he always this serious? No, he's actually not. He's a bit of a joker as well. Um, I think he's putting a lot of that on me. But no, he, he, is, he is serious and he's always someone in the dressing room you can go to. I think a lot of the younger lads, even my age and, and younger, go to Birdie so, to sort of deal with things they need, dealing with off the pitch and stuff. And that's someone that's really, really crucial in a football club. And I think you, you don't really see that um, that much anymore. And I think Birdie's a real, really good person for that. Well, boys, congratulations on the achievement and here's to many more. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely boys. That was so cute. Yeah, that was, that was cute. So cute. That was so cute. <laughs>